Hi there! This diecast channel and in this video we're gonna do a review on this 1969 Pontiac GTO made by Earl in the 1 to 18 scale. So if you like those American muscle cars, especially the Pontiac GTO, stay with me to the end of this video. Don't forget to give me your thumbs up to share this video, that helps the channel a lot, and also to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. And also click bell for news, so we're gonna stay tuned for the next videos that are about to come. So let's unbox this car and take a better look at its details right now. GTO made by Ertl in the 1 to 18 scale. The GTO was first introduced by Pontiac Division in 1964 as a new sports car to face the European imports. GTO stands for Gran Turismo Mologato. This car is equipped with a 400 cubic inch V8 that produces around 350 horsepower and it also has a Rockster Quadrajet carburetor very high performance especially considering this is 1969 that was around the pinnacle of the muscle cars in the united states in 1968 pontiac was completely changed and the shape was almost like this one in 1964 it was pretty much like the 1963 Pontiac Le Mans I've shown in a previous video, that one made by Highway 61. 64, the GTO was offered as a hardtop or a convertible. The other Pontiacs, such as the sedan and the station wagon, were only Tempest and the Le Mans. This model car is made by Earl on a 1 3 thin scale. It's made with a very good paint job. Very nice from parts, bumpers, wheels and tires look very good. The grille looks very good. The all chrome parts look intact. The paint on this car looks perfect. So we're going to take a look at its details right now and go through a review on this For car. For 69, Pontiac had a new grille and the headlights look quite good. They have a pretty good realism GTO logo on the driver's side of the grille. This grille with a black wash could look a little bit more realistic. This car doesn't have a hood deck. Proportions are good. A windshield with a very good transparency. And the parts are aligned The engine well. bay of this car is pretty well made. Uh, we've got the 400 Pontiac engine that's made in the correct color. The air filter pan. Valve covers are made in chrome. There are separate parts as well. The radiator shroud and the radiator hose. The hinges are the simple basic type of hinges, but they're not as thick as those ones we find in some different model cars. And the hood's got a pretty good opening. We see the cow and the windshield wipers. They're all cast in metal. They're pretty well made. It's a pretty good engine bay for this the model car. The interior is quite simple. It's pretty decent. It's made in black plastic and different textures that mock the carpet and seat cushions steering wheel looks pretty correct. The dashboard is made in black plastic with the sticker that mocks the wood grain pattern that was quite common on these cars. Door panels look pretty good. We're gonna be able to see that from a different angle. And the seats do not tilt. They're all made in black plastic. They've got some very tiny flashes, but it's not really a big deal. The car is pretty decent the way it is. From the passenger side, we can see the gear lever is a stick shift, is the four on the floor. Central console, quite simple interior. Pretty honest for this the rear car. end of the car that looks very nice. The bumper, the rear bumper looks very nice. It doesn't have any flashes, any issues, and the chrome looks untouched. It looks perfect. The tail lights are painted on chrome, and they really look like acrylic, so Erdo did a very nice job on this car. In the newer versions made by Auto World, we can see the reverse lights right here in the middle of the tail lights. Trunk lid is cast in metal, and the GTO logo is a decal. The rear window has got a pretty good transparency, and the trim around the window is very well cast in metal. From underneath, 
This is something I call a very good undercarriage. It's a basic to intermediate line, but Erdo does a pretty good job on those undercarriages for those cars. Even though the parts are not always painted on the correct colors, and some of them look like plastic, they really reproduce well what is made in a real car. The only issues I would point in this model car in particular would be those two holes for the screws that hold the car to the base in the box. In newer versions, this should be abolished since the new box doesn't need any more screws. The mufflers could be taken off and painted silver to look a little more realistic, just like I did in a 69 GTO The Judge I've shown in the previous video. The engine looks correct. Transmission needs a little paint. Should be silver, perhaps. Drive shaft looks good. Front and rear suspensions look pretty correct, even though they do not work and the drive shaft does not spin. The gas tank looks good. The way this car was made back in the 90s, it still continues in a very good shape nowadays. So this is a plus, really. Ranking this car from 0 to 10, I would give it a 9. It's an old Erdo model, so we can't really expect as much as we can expect from an authentic, for instance. But in a basic line, it really delivers a pretty good value for its price. Its paint job is excellent. Its paint quality is outstanding. It's very good. It doesn't have any rashes, doesn't have any issues. Chrome parts look all intact with a very good quality. Doors and hood are very well aligned. It just doesn't have a tan really for not having an opening trunk. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel in case you haven't subscribed yet. Also let me know down in your comments what you think about the video and about the car. And don't forget to touch the bell for new videos that are about to come. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.